Anggon salut. That's right. Full clip. 21 gun salute. Full bitch. Mine, mine. They give a fucking bong. Bong. Alright. Yeah, like. Bitch. Cause it's me. 21 gun salute. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great, great, one more great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And check out the membership section. Cause yo, may I try to set it off? But listen, I am going right into this. Now look at the title. It's Ghost Down Crips. Candice Flowers killed in Belize after leaving a club. And then it goes on to say, at funeral. Him get a 21 gun salute. You understand? Amongst other things. So, yo, me gonna explore this. Uh, ghost town creep. Uh, boy, Candice Flowers. And try and explain his situation. And talk about him family. Yo, the man of our grandmother there. Where? Yo, that woman here, yeah, she not play. Let's go. With the dignity and respect that family and friends had afforded him in life, despite the associations he belonged to and the many choices he made, that veneration was given to him on Sunday by mourners who attended his funeral. During the procession, the horse-drawn casket made a ceremonial stop on Mayflower Street to release a handful of helium balloons a short distance away from where Candice Flowers grew up as a child. Regrettably, even in death and bereavement, Controversy still seems to follow him. When you hear the journalist explain what happened at the funeral, and that was the first clip when we play, I only hear the 21 gun salute from the criminals, them from the gangster, Warstone Crips, them give him a 21 gun salute. So that explained that. But, I have a play another video, another clip. Or the grandmother, I'm going to talk about the grandmother and her family. Yeah. So I want to follow me you now. We are talking about Ghost Town Crip leader. Watch this. Everybody came, friends and the rest of relatives came out here after the funeral was finished. We were interacting with each other. When upon arrival of the JSU, they came in the yard, they didn't say anything, nothing to anyone. Well, let me see, about five of them went to the back of the yard. One, the last one that came in the gate, I was standing in front of, by the post, me, my grandson and a young man. While standing there, the last one that came in, went to the young man, grabbed him in his shirt and the you call him. So he said, for what? For what? You know, have no reason why they care around. You know, see, nobody did nothing out of the way, in the yard. Everybody interact with each other pertaining to the funeral. You hear what Granny say? She said, after the funeral, them go home, a few our house, and all them friends and family come, and then all of a sudden, the police them just come in. But what Granny is failing to tell you is that all her family and friends them is all ghost town crips gangsters. And the reason why the police came is because the police was monitoring the loud crazy funeral because you see a whole heap of people come out to support him. So that kind of speaks to what Belize is like. So the gang culture is very strong within the community. So you know people in the community is knows what's going on. Now at the beginning you hear some girl I say, yeah man, 21 gun salute. Ra 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 and them attack. So they know what's going on. But the reason the police went to grandma house is because they have been monitoring the funeral 
and them say the 21 gun salute them hear it them see it people call them and told them about it so that's why they go there now the police said they're not playing any joke with them so i'm gonna play something from the police but me i gonna run some more clips and we are gonna show them something me i analyze and break this down remember when you come at jamaica first country first I am not just going to repost the news. I'm going to break it down and analyze it. Let's go. People start to rebel. Why didn't they care the young man and nobody not do nothing out of the way? And I saw my knees, my grandkids and me. They start to read up. I start to curse them. I know I did for play the police them, but I want to listen to what granny has said. And a neighbor, just listen to this. The GSU came in. We were mourning. They want to disrupt our morning. They want to take somebody away and the neighborhood stood up for that young man because it was uncalled for. So all we were doing is just taking up for or, or, or a member of the community. We weren't like inciting any violence. We, we were the ones firing the shots. When you hear where the neighbor say they must support somebody from them community and him go on to say other things. And then when you hear where the granny say, say the police them, I fire the shot. She never say them do a illegal 21 gun salute and she never talk what was going on but the police them did fire shot but a rubber bullet the police them did fire. With that said, that Jamaican, that you there, we attack him sound like a yard man they are Billy's. With that said again, never play the police them and hear the police them side. Despite the community's disdain for the GSU, they had authority to enter the neighborhood. The police has an authority to go in because there was just cause. Mm -hmm. The information was that they were um, shooting guns similar to what we do at a um, state funeral where there's a 21 gun salute. That's a crime whether it's with a licensed gun or not. The law is very clear. It says no gun should be fired within 100 yards from a built up area. Now you hear the police explain the law and tell them what's going on. Well now, I'm going to fast forward to how the youth are dead and what the family is saying about it. Let's go. What we understand is that Mr. Candice Flowers, along with, along with others, were at a nightclub on the north side, where a dispute ensued between him and other persons. As a result, he left from the nightclub and apparently he was being followed and some altercation happened between them at Mahogany Street which ended he being fatally wounded during the shootout also another male person who was along with him Tyreek Pitt suffered a gunshot injury to his foot he was treated and he was released when you hear the police just explain what happened he might have a man at a club them follow him and wake him up Everybody know who he is because he was always on TV and him get caught up in a whole heap of things. I'm going to play something from that. But let's move on to what the family is saying. Listen to this discombobulated family. Hear this. Him sister. Picture what did circulate with him. When I reached the scene and I see my brother down there, he me clean. Yes, he had the, um, the shot. In her head. When you hear what the sister say, she has said, when she go up there, go look for her brother, him the dead, but the picture where the mama circulate with the gun pan him, that's not how she see him. Let's go. It's wildly and there the state said about one gun. We never say the gun there when we reach there, no gun never the pan. I was at the scene and I will tell you that that incident happened there. We have interviewed several persons that were along with him. We have recorded statements from them to to corroborate what we have said earlier. Even if that is street figure, we know police have something to do with it too. My grandson was dropping off some females and the police, they spotted him. They started firing at the vehicle. He jumped out ran into a yard that was when the police came saw him and freezed him 
the G members of the GSU. They were in the black truck, along with ones in the white pickup truck also. They brought him out and they freezed him, told him to freeze, put his hand behind his head. That is why he got shot on his finger also. Now, when I hear the grandmother version, I wish she said one. But check this out. The police them did catch a youth and charge him for the murder. Because the family them are say a police do it. Police them are say a some gang member do it. Listen to this. Which was gone down on Mopan Street. Police arrested and charged 25-year-old Kevin Bowden. Bowden was arraigned despite his family's staunch belief that their loved ones was killed at the hands of GSU personnel. Tonight, the accused killer has walked away from that indictment. So on the silver go on this saw. So this only make the family and the grandmother more and more suspicious of the police. Yo, what do you guys think? Look at his funeral. Look at what he represent. Look at what the family is saying and the police saying. Who do you believe? Remember me say, I want to talk about the grandmother and uh, some of the family members because them is the ghost town crypts from Mayflower Street in a Belize city. Now, I want to know, listen to this. What I want to tell you about the video. I want to know, Listen this video carefully and then I'm gonna come back and talk about it. Listen to this. A fatal shooting incident on Wednesday afternoon may have been a tipping point in an ongoing feud that has been tearing apart a Belize City neighborhood over the past few months. Shortly after 2 o'clock, a pair of young men came under gunfire as they proceeded on foot along Banat Street. 24-year-old Percival Pilgrim was in the company of Kanye King, a teenage minor, when they were blindsided by three individuals who emerged from a nearby alley. Multiple shots were fired in their direction. I finished cook. My grandkids, uh, my two granddaughters, because they stayed downstairs for the time being. Uh, my grandson, Kanye, come they eat their food. When Kanye don't eat, he gone through. Up, oh, me flower street for Gan Vernon Street. I don't know where he gone. I got in my bed and I got laid down. Moments later, Sandra Uter was roused out of a catnap by her granddaughter. I get up. He say, you, <coughs> you hear the I said, no. I must be dropping all the doors. I said, no. And they run through the back. I still don't gone out there. When they come tell me, they shot Pilgrim. Unbeknownst to the family matriarch, her 16-year-old grandson had been injured in a deadly fusillade. You guys hear what happened right there? Them shoot her grandson after she cooked some food give him. We want to listen carefully. Let's go. What she also did not know was that another grandson was reportedly the trigger man. You hear that? The trigger man was her other grandson. And if you recall at the beginning of this video, I said I was going to talk about this grandmother. Uh, you remember Candice? It's his funeral. Candice Flowers. These are his cousins. You understand? And she is defending one grandson over the next grandson and one set of family member over the next family. Let's go. In an internal row that has divided the ghost town community, a bitter rivalry between factions of the namesake gang is pitting Uter's grandchildren against each other with lethal consequences. You hear that? Now the ghost town crypts is like a woman the family run the ghost town crypts, you know. The whole our nephew and grand Pitney are, are son them whoever and uh, there's a break off in the faction of the ghost town crypts. This is who her other grandson who for a funeral them did have and do the 21 military salute like he's in the military and a fear offspring then you see say other woman here a she and fear family run Mayflower Street you understand because the two set a cousin them and brother them a war and a shoot and a kill each other so now my question is how can they blame police? Says police kill Candice. 
it could be one of his own family member because obviously he's a vicious family yo me go play some more of this and then me go come back and wrap it up yo Missandra, your family is fractured it's it's split based on what seems to be an ongoing gang situation in the mayflower street area as a grandparent talk to us about what is happening and perhaps what you've tried to do to bring peace amongst your grandkids no more to listen very carefully to all this grandmother answer the question there yo it's crazy i say talk to my grandkids no one is down but i have people come and molest them i have one of my nephew and one of my grandson end up the shoot in the jail right now for it because why then gone out and he three of them gone out and he with gun Yo, I don't know if I'm me, or maybe I'm hearing different, but did me ask her how she can stop it, and what she went on to say is one nephew, another family member now, you know, come with some man from out of the area, and the man them come and tell our other grandson, say, yo, the man gonna kill him. Did you hear that? Go stone cribs. Well... Look at some of my family members where they feel like they want God. At least to me, look like they want to be a hero. You know, all this. You understand me? They want got people like robots and bringing people from all we don't know where. The young man confront there, my nephew, I'm in the past. My grandson stand up front and tell the young man, he say, this is the one I want you to kill. He's not can hear. Now, you hear how she answer the journalist's question. And these people, she don't care. She's exposing everything on news media now. Because she's very popular. People know her. People know her family there. But people also know, say, them is a vicious set of family. Because the grandson them, and the cousin them, and the nephew. I kill off the Molanida on Mayflower Street. You understand? Because of the ghost town crypts. And her other kids, them, grandson, other people dead. The mom of the crypts funeral theme, 21 gun salute. And she came into the media and said, Are the police them first fire shot? Uh, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. You know what I'm saying? So, with that said, this kind of show you. Who Candice Flowers family is and who he was and the million dollar question them I say a police killing I don't think it's police killing I think I probably all them own a friend them kill him or some other gang member opposing gang member because these ghost ghost are uh, town crips they do a lot of killing and a lot of effrey down there in Belize. I know this video is a long video, but that's all I have to do it to talk about this guy here. My name is Countryman. Let me know what you think about this video. And like me say, Belize is not a place to play with. Now, before I go, I don't know if many of you know the population of Belize. Belize have about 350 to 360 uh, thousand people as a population. So it is a big place and it is not even that populated and it is rich in resources because Belize dollar is way better than the Jamaican dollar. But yeah, and them have about 60,000 people living in Belize City itself. So, that's how Belize situated. Yo, my name is Countryman. Like me say, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And click on any other video. And there's more coming up on Belize, Jamaica, Trinidad, and the other place. Them. I'm out. I'll be know say, yo, the Flowers family boy, our dangerous setter. Family don't in a Belize, yo. And her grandmother there.
which me talk about from the beginning, so me did want to talk about her dangerous woman. I'm out.